We don't really have that many small, lightweight, ergonomic mice, but the G-Wolf Skull Mini fits into that category. Big thank you for eTactech for sending it out, and I actually have two units, so I can compare the build quality and the clicks. It will be quite interesting to see if there is some variance between the two units. g -Wolf has had some issues with their mice when they released them in the first few batches. The Skull Mini has been out for a while though, and it's not exactly built like a rock. There is side flex and bottom flex when I really squeeze the mouse, and I can also actuate the side buttons when I press it from the sides. There is also scroll wheel rattle when I shake the mouse. These issues really don't bother me when I'm gaming, but this mouse doesn't feel like it's very well built. If you take a look at the insides of the shell of the G-Wolf Skull Mini, it does look like it's quite minimalistic. I mean, there are no reinforcements in the shell to be found, but those are pretty much tipped, I guess, because they want to keep the weight low. Out of the box, the mouse looked very small for me and I wasn't sure about the shape. But in my hand, the mouse felt instantly very good. It's super easy and comfortable to claw grip this mouse and there is still enough rooms on the sides for my fingers. The mouse is quite short. But because of its high profile, it's not an issue. It's a shape that forces me to claw it in a certain way, and I like it in this case. The curves on the Skull Mini are very comfortable. They are quite smooth and not very extreme at all. The back left curve gives good support to the bottom of your thumb. And then there is a nice slight curvature under the side buttons where you usually place your thumb. On the right hand side there is the back gradual curve that is quite nice on my hand. And then the front corner is aggressive enough so I have a consistent place for my fingers. When I'm gaming with this mouse, the bottom of my palm is not touching the mouse pad at all. My two fingers on the mouse buttons are placed right on the edge of the mouse. My thumb is below the front side button and then two of my fingers on the right side are quite in the front edge. This grip for me is very comfortable and I can also aim very well with it. But it's definitely a small mouse. Taking a quick look at the measurements, the mouse seems to be 116mm long and then about 40mm in height in its highest point and that is in the middle of the mouse. And then the mouse is 59.8mm wide in the middle and 62.6 millimeters in the back. The main balance on both of my units are very good. They feel soft and they are easy to actuate. For switches the G-Bull Skull Mini uses the Omron 20Ms. My white unit has some button wobble, but nothing that I could ever feel in game. Then again the red and the black one has no wobble at all. Both units have a little bit of pre and post travel, but nothing that ruins the experience. The clicks still feel very tactile and crispy. And they feel surprisingly good considering that the buttons are not separated from the shell. The click feeling is also very consistent between the two units. It's pretty much exactly the same. The side buttons are quite alright. There is some pre and post travel, but the feeling is still crispy and they feel tactile. One issue with these side buttons is that with my grip style, they are placed quite badly. When I'm gaming I can pretty much only press the front mouse button. So if you grip the mouse the same way I do and you use the side buttons in games, you're gonna have an issue. If I don't consider the placement of the side buttons, they feel quite good and I could definitely use them in games. The scroll wheel is very good for games and in general use. It's very tactile and the steps are very defined. It's not that easy to press down, but I could still do it quite well. The sensor on the g Skull Skull Mini is the Pixar 3389. It's a very good sensor, there is no acceleration and no input lag. The lift-off distance is also low by default and it works very well. The g Wolf's implementation also has no issues and the precision is perfect on this sensor. The coating on the Skull Mini is not the best. It feels very cheap and plasticky for me, but the holes make it so that it's quite grippy. But good thing here is that g Wolf does provide grip tapes with the mouse. So you can always use those if you don't like the coating or you hate the holes on the sides. The mouse feet are pure PTFE and there are four small feet. They provide good glide, but the experience is quite scratchy. The feeling is equal on both my units. The glide is good on all my mouse pads, but the experience is not smooth. I mean, these feet don't feel smooth even on the Odin Zero Gravity XL, and that's a bit of a miracle for me. Usually I don't like that pad because it's too smooth, but with these feet <laughs> it's actually usable for me. There are extra mouse cases in the box, but I did slap on some Tiger Arcs and I have to say that the experience is quite a lot better. The Tiger Arcs skates are thicker and they provide a much better glide and smoother experience. For example, the glide on my Extra 5 GP4 is just far better on the Tiger Arcs. The Skull Mini has a micro USB cable and it's pretty flexible. It's not nearly as flexible as the most flexible cables on the market these days, but I think this is good enough, especially if you have a bungee. What I really would like to see is a more upward angle on the stress relief in the cable. This would help to eliminate any kind of drag on the mousepad or your desk. 
So let's have a quick conclusion. I played quite a bit of Valorant, CSGO and Diabolical with the mouse and I got in very well with it. Draken and Flickshots both feel good and that's because I like the shape. I think why the shape is good for me is because it's quite high profile. The mouse does give me good palm support and therefore good control. I would not really recommend this mouse to anyone with large hands. If you like smaller mice and your claw grip, medium hand should be fine. But mostly this is designed for those with small hands. Your hands would need to be about 17 centimeters or even shorter if you want to palm this mouse. But I highly recommend claw with this mouse. As I did love the shape and the balance, I have to give this mouse good points. It does not have that rock solid build quality and the mouse feet are not the best. Considering all of this, it's also quite pricey in my opinion. For 60 euros you can get the Rocket Burst Pro or 10 Game Gear XM1. And those both are great out of the box. So I do think that Jeebus needs to step up their game if they want to price their mice this way. The thing is though that the design of the mouse is very good. Especially considering that there are not that many options for small hands. So that is a good reason to pay the price for the Skull Mini if you have small hands. I mean even if you have medium hands and you like smaller mice. But again, I do not recommend this for large hands. That's pretty much it though. There are quite a few positive surprises for me. But there are some negative aspects also. I myself will be very happy to use the Jeebus Skull Mini also in the future. If you enjoyed the content, hit that like button, and if you enjoy gaming gear reviews, hit that subscribe button, and see you in the next one.